Somebody said, I'm new to practicing. What is your advice? Alhamdulillah. Thank Allah Azza wa for guiding you. Whether you're a new Muslim guiding you to Islam or whether you're a Muslim, Alhamdulillah, for guiding you to Al-Istiqama, to trying to be upright upon the Kitab and the Sunnah. Praise Allah Azza wa and thank Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala for that blessing. Every blessing that you receive is from Allah. And the greatest blessing is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us to Islam and the Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, alladhi hadana li hadha. All praise belongs to Allah that He guided us to this. And if it was not for Allah, we would never be guided. If it wasn't for Allah, we would never be guided. We would never give charity and we would have never prayed. So start by thanking Allah Azza wa Jal. And being grateful to him, subhanahu. And part of gratitude is what? Gratitude with your tongue. Gratitude with your heart and your limbs. Utilize your limbs for that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of those things which is most pleasing to Allah azza wa jal, which is better than some of the nawafil al-ibadat, the supererogatory acts of worship, is seeking knowledge. Seek knowledge. Learn the religion for yourself. Learn the religion for yourself. Again, that is from the ways to Jannah. Seeking knowledge. That Alhamdulillah, you hear an ayah, a verse. You hear someone in, explain it. You can go to the books of Tafsir. And you can benefit from Ibn Kathir. And before Ibn Kathir, al baghawi And before al baghawi Al-Tabari, which is Ummaha, which is yani, Umma Tafasir. The ulama they say Al-Tabari is the mother of the books of Tafsir. I advise you to learn your religion. Likewise, you're new to practicing. Choose companions that are upright. Choose companions, alhamdulillah, that are striving to fear Allah Azzawajal, that go to the masjid, pray salah in the masjid. Attend the classes in the masjid. Not those who just gossip and backbite. Not those you, do not, you never see them in the masjid. At the salah. Not those who are heedless and negligent of the commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. Likewise, when you are new to practicing, Focus upon the issues that are of primary importance. When the Prophet وسلم, he sent Mu'ad to Yemen, what did he say? Inna ka Verily, you are going to a, a group from the people of the book. فَلِيَكُنْ أَوَّلَ مَا تَدْعُمْ إِلَيْهِ أَنْ يُوَحِدُ اللَّهَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ Let the first thing you call them to be to single out Allah Azza wa Jal with a tawheed. So learn about matters of aqeedah. What does it mean to have correct belief in Allah Azza wa Jal? Likewise, correct belief in the books, his books, and likewise the angels and his messengers in the last day and the divine decree. Learn about the pillars of Islam. Again, the foundation is the shahada. Learn how to pray properly. Again, the Prophet وسلم, he said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray as you have seen me pray. He never said pray and blind follow someone and just listen to them. He said pray as you see me pray. So we learn how to pray in accordance to the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Likewise before that Al-Wudu. لا يقبل الله صلاة أحدكم إذا أحدث حتى يتوضع. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Azza wa Jal will not accept the prayer of anyone if he breaks wind until he makes wudu. That's why you find a number of scholars when they were talking about fiqh al-ibadat, fiqh, jurisprudence, they would start with what? Tahara, even before prayer. Because it's a condition of salah. There's no time to waste, alhamdulillah. We don't have time to waste. Naam, barakallahu feekum. And likewise, Make dua to Allah Azza wa Jal that Allah grants you firmness. Firmness upon the truth. 
never be amazed by our own selves, regardless of how much knowledge that we have. From the supplications that the Prophet would make most. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. O changer of hearts, make my heart firm upon your religion. 